There are so many incredible images of space floating around out there. But is this what space really looks like? Well, kind of. Let's start with these big, sweeping images of nebulas and star-forming regions. We can't talk about these space images without taking a quick look at the electromagnetic spectrum. We can only see this narrow band of visible light, but on the shorter end tending towards X-rays and the longer end tending towards microwaves, there's still a lot of information for scientists to glean, so they use telescopes that can see in these wavelengths that are invisible to our eye. Astronomers take that data and shift the color information to frequencies that we can see while keeping the relative colors constant. This doesn't mean they're not real. It's sort of like changing the key of a song. It sounds different, but still the same. Let's take Hubble as an example. Hubble can see in visible light like we can, but using specialized instruments, it can also see in ultraviolet and infrared light. Light information hits the digital camera sensor as a grayscale image. Yep, those amazing Hubble images have no color. Then astronomers add color data and adjust for known wavelengths, adding corresponding colors and patching different shots together to give a complete picture. A great example is these two images of the Pillars of Creation, three columns of cold gas in the star-forming region of the Eagle Nebula. The one on the left is seen in visible light, and the one on the right is seen in infrared light. Looking in the infrared, Hubble can see through the gas and dust that blocks our vision to show the stars forming inside the pillars. So space sort of looks like both of these images, but it also doesn't. It takes processing and adding color data to get this kind of rich detail. But there's another type of space image, the artist's rendering. These are some of the most exciting images and also the ones that demand the most guesswork. Let's take this image of TRAPPIST-1F as an example. TRAPPIST-1F is part of the TRAPPIST-1 system. We have a video on it. So how do we know what the surface looks like? Well, we don't, because the actual data itself is a hot mess. But artists consulted with scientists to make this image. First, astronomers used the Spitzer telescope to estimate the mass of the planet and its density. From this information, they figured out that 1F is likely a rocky planet. Then, from transit measurements, astronomers know the planet orbits close to its star, way closer than Mercury does to our sun. So the star would look big in the sky. But that star is also an ultra-cool dwarf, so it's possible for liquid water to exist on the surface of the planet. So they put that in the image as well. And finally, because the other planets in the system orbit close to 1F, the scientists think you might be able to see them in the sky. Et voila, an artist's rendering of TRAPPIST-1F. Looks nice. So even if these images aren't exactly what we'd see if we were to visit the Pillars of Creation, which are gone now, by the way, or TRAPPIST-1F, these images not only give us vital information, they kind of remind us how exciting it is to find new things in space. We can't do secret episodes without our sponsors. Thanks to Gray's for sponsoring this episode. Gray's makes snacking exciting by combining wholesome ingredients with flavors we all love to create over 100 nutritionist-approved snacks. Go to grays.com and enter the promo code SEEKER to get a free sample or box delivered to your home or work. So what's your favorite fake space image that you wish was real? Let us know down below in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. And speaking of things that we can't see in space, I have a video about how Apollo passed through the Van Allen belts over on Vintage Space. And one more thing, we got nominated for a Webby Award for sending a VR camera to the edge of space, and you can help us win. Go to vote.webbyawards.com and search for Seeker. Then click vote, simple as that. It really means a lot. And if you haven't seen it, check out the actual video on Seeker VR.